Hey guys, Thundi E here, and today I have the brand new Link Buds from Sony. And we're gonna be comparing them against the Galaxy Buds 2 and the AirPods 3 to find out which is the best in the category. So the Link Buds are brand new earbuds from Sony, and they come in two color variants. You've got a white and you've got a gray here. And that is pretty nice compared to stuff like the AirPods 3 that come in just one color, and the Galaxy Buds 2 that do come in four colors. So Samsung does offer more colors for you on the table. But taking a look at our Link Buds here, they have this nice compact case, uh, very nice and simple. It's also made from recyclable material, including the Link Buds themselves. So Sony does have the recyclable material angle covered with the packaging, the case, the buds, compared to the other two in here. Now, the buds themselves have, of course, uh, USB Type-C for the case, the Link Buds, similar to the, um, the Galaxy Buds 2, while the AirPods 3, of course, uses Lightning, while those two, the Buds 2, Galaxy Buds 2, and the AirPods 3 have wireless charging, the Link Buds do not. So that's a slight ding here. All right, so let's open it up and see what we have here. Boom, here are the Link Buds. They look very different and have a very, very different design. You can see here, it's got like this flat, like round uh, corner with a larger bulb here. And of course you've got wingtips here. Now they do offer multiple wingtips. You can actually swap uh, your, de your, your device switch, which is pretty nice. Uh, but in terms of fit, how well does this design actually fit? Well, this is where I give the win to the Galaxy Buds 2. The Buds 2 have a much better fit. It fits easily in your ear and stays there for long periods of time, especially if you're working out, compared to the Link Buds, which have this more uh, rounded look and it's a flat fit into your ear. I will say they are third place with the AirPods, AirPods 3 coming in second. AirPods, AirPods 3, they do fit in the ear. I do, I can, I do have to kind of wiggle it around, but it stays for a longer period of time. The Link Buds actually last for me on that level. Now, you can change those wingtips. I have tried uh, to give you a better fit just for me. That's where they actually stand. So in terms of fit, they're kind of behind. Now, when it comes to audio, which is one of the biggest things you're looking for with headphones, Sony does say the Link Buds are meant to be open back design. This is aimed at a, a couple of very significant groups, people who are working from home and who needs to hear the surroundings, as well as also people who are playing like AR games or VR games as well, I would say. So there's some gaming elements to that. And of course, people who like to listen to music with open back headphones, like I do as well. So how does that compare against the AirPods 3 and the Galaxy Buds 2? Well, I have to say, these sound absolutely amazing. I will repeat that again. Yes, they are open back headphones, but they sound absolutely amazing. Crisp, clear, your highs, your mids, your lows, all come out very, very clear. Plus you can hear surroundings very well. So you do have that aspect to it here, which is something that I would say that I was truly impressed with and they have done a fantastic job. Now, when it comes to the AirPods 3 and the Galaxy Buds 2, I'll say that's a close tie in sound and definitely go check out that video where I compare both of them there. Uh, but clear winner here in audio are the Sony Link Buds. Now, when in terms of active noise cancellation, this doesn't have active noise cancellation, just like the AirPods 3, but the Galaxy Buds 2 do offer that. So that is something the Galaxy Buds do have over it, but that doesn't have an effect on the audio quality, I repeat. Active noise cancellation, the audio quality are not synonymous. So just putting it out there for people to understand that that's just a feature that a lot of people like, but this doesn't actually have active noise cancellation. So that being said, what about the uh, battery life for these devices? Well, the Link Buds come with 5.5 hours while listening uh, with the, the Buds themselves and up to about 17.5 hours uh, with the case. Compared to the Galaxy Buds 2 and the AirPods 3, it comes in last there. With the AirPods 3 having six hours while listening and you have 30 hours with the case, the Galaxy uh, Buds 2 variates between five hours and 20 with ANC, or you're looking at uh, six hours and 27 with uh, ANC off. So you do have that difference there with the Galaxy Buds coming in second and the Link Buds coming in last when it comes to that. 
Now, the last thing you guys are gonna ask me is what about the microphone? We've got uh, microphones on this. We talked about the fact that the link buds are something people will use to uh, listen, of course, how jump to conference calls uh, and you know use for a work environment. Well, I have to say the mic is absolutely solid and compares very well to the Galaxy Buds 2 or the AirPods uh, 3. So in terms of the, the mic use, you will find that it actually works pretty well. And a lot of people will, uh, will tell you that you actually have good audio quality while using them. So I had that experience with them, similar to the other two, and I think that a lot of people will have that as well. Extras, what kind of extras do you have for these devices? Well, with the uh, AirPods 3, we'll start off there. They do have spatial audio, which you can actually use and activate. Uh, and it doesn't have an in-depth app system. It's something that uh, Apple likes to keep on the minimum but it all does have adaptive uh, EQ to basically change the EQ to meet the music styles that you want. Uh, that's something that I just never really worked well for me, so I don't really appreciate that, but it's something that is there. Now with the Galaxy Buds 2, you do have a, a de really decent robust app where you can go ahead and change your EQ settings. You can also go ahead and uh, activate certain features on there, and that's something that is also a big plus. Now with the Link Buds, Link Buds will be using Sony's very extensive app network. Now I wasn't able to use the, the updated app at this time uh, just because the feature just hasn't been updated yet. But looking at other Sony earbuds like the WF-1000 Mark IVs, you can see that there's a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, so you're gonna have a full range of features minus of course active noise cancellation, but that is something to take note. And I think Sony takes the cake there with the better app and additional features. Plus, it does have 360 audio as well, so you do have that feature built in, which is similar to spatial audio in a sense. So, when it comes to all that, what do I think of the Link Buds overall? Well, the Link Buds are really solid. In terms of the audio department, they do a really good job there, and I think they have the best sounding audio out of all three. But it does uh, have deficiencies in certain parts, and when you look at the pricing for it, it's a bit of a hard sell, uh, but it does have its benefits and its place. The Link Buds are priced at $179, so that's something to take note. Uh, well, compared to the AirPods 3, which are now currently priced at $169, depending on where you buy, and Samsung, of course, with the Galaxy S22 Ultra release, is having a sale where, at least at this point in time when this video came out, uh, the Galaxy Buds 2 are priced at $109. So they are the cheapest offering out of all three. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think the Link Buds are solid? I think they are, especially if you're gonna be using them for a work environment, or at least you wanna hear your surroundings around you. They're not the best, I would say, for working out, just because for me, they definitely slide out quite a bit, but the audio quality is unmatched by the other two. So if you wanna pick up any of these devices, use the links down below, find the earbuds that actually fit you best, at least from what we've actually compared here. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.